Let's review how to use the amplitude or the volume of a signal in order to control a certain parameter in max. So first thing, we want an easy ADC, audio to digital converter. This is essentially defaulting to the built-in microphone on my laptop, and this signal is coming into max. We can have a meter tilde object just to visually see what the level is. And as you can see, the louder the signal, the louder my voice, uh, the hotter the, the level. We can resize this, and of course, uh, it's clipping at that level. Um, in class, we used peak amp. Let's give it a, an argument of 100. And what this does is it takes the amplitude, or the loudness, of the incoming signal, and then it reports back a number that corresponds to that loudness. So kind of quiet, you see here it's about 0.1 or 0.2, but if I were to Stop my fingers. And in that case, I went up to eight, um, etc. So you can sort of adjust the level according to your own microphone, your own input. Uh, and what we did in class was we used this to control the frequency of a cycle object. So first, I want to see the relative range that we'll be working with. So we're going. My snaps go up to about five. Um, so I want to use the scale object. I know that things are coming in at a minimum at about 0 0.1. So I'll say it will scale from 0 0.1 to 5. And I'm using floats here because I know this data is coming in as floating points, not as integers. So the input will be expected between 0 0.1 and 5. And let's output, output that between 220 and 880 hertz. Um, and actually, let me make that 220 and the 880 uh, floats as well, so we get a little bit more precision in the output. Now, again, we'll use floats. So now the loudness of the signal, when it's really quiet, it'll be at about 220. And if it's quieter than 0.1, you see it goes below 220. But if it's louder, here it's going up to about 600. And what we were doing in class is using this to control a cycle tilde object, the frequency of a sine wave oscillator. And all of a sudden, you have really interesting interactivity in Max, where the loudness of the input signal will control the pitch of the oscillator. And we'll, later, we'll look at ways of sort of smoothing out this information in the data and tweaking all these things. Uh, but for the moment, I just wanted to review this quick little tangent we went on in class today.